Hey friends, welcome into another edition of Four Minutes on Friday. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about an idea that I was uh, relatively unfamiliar with um, probably just a couple of months ago and I believe I heard it on a podcast or read it in an article and um, it just kind of captured my um, attention and did a little research more on it and it is um, it is something that has been uh, written about and talked about. Um, that is the idea, the, the difference between a harmonious passion and an obsessive passion. Um, and I'm going to read um, just a couple of uh, definitions about those two, harmonious or obsessive passion, um, just so to get us on the same, same page. So, um, harmonious passion, when we participate in an activity that brings us harmony, we are more engaged, we concentrate at a higher level, and we feel happy. Um, obsessive passion, when, we, uh, when there's an overwhelming desire to participate in the endeavor um, that triggers pressure in us. Uh, for example, the one example in this definition they give is those who can't stop playing a game, um, continuously experiencing a desire to move on to the next level. I'm sure that has never happened with any of us um, with our devices and multiple um, little games that we have access to. Certainly, you love in obsessive passion, you love what you are doing. However, instead of controlling that relationship, the relationship is controlling you. You feel compelled to participate um, in the activity and you can't seem to pull yourself away from it. Um, there are probably a million different examples of how we have seen obsessive and harmonious passion play out in our lives. It is probably most easy, if we're honest, uh, to point to the places of obsessive passion. Um, where it has taken us away from family or it has uh, pulled us away from focus uh, in our jobs, in our work. Um, but one thing that, that I kind of immediately thought about when I was first hearing about this idea, this difference between harmonious passion and obsessive passion is this. When it comes to our work world, um, is true joy in the things that you are doing, that you are working on, found in the midst of your work? Do you have passion for those things? Now, I know certainly there are probably more people than not um, that are not necessarily passionate about their work. Um, their work is something that they do to provide for their family, um, to pay the bills, all of those uh, sort of obligatory things that come with um, doing our jobs. Um, so maybe move it to um, the extracurricular or the outside of work experience. Um, do you have a place where your passion is um, exposed, that you have an opportunity to engage in your passion? The other end of this is um, related to controlling those passions, those things that we that we love doing, maybe even the things that we are that we jokingly say, well, I'm I am totally obsessed with. XYZ. Um, obsessive passion obviously has its um, very, um, very difficult results. So I would encourage you maybe to engage in some question asking. Um, is this passion that I have for something or even someone, is it something that is pulling me away from the things that I need to be engaged in? Is it something that is uh, destroying relationships? Is it something that is making a great many things challenging above and beyond what it should be? Um, to use a quote from um, a television show from the uh, 90s, are you master of your domain? Are you in control of the things that are a part of your life? Are you mastering the things that need to be mastered? And are you in control of the things that need to be controlled? Um, are you participating in a harmonious passion or an obsessive passion? All right, I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you next week.